Edgemead Zen Cathedral is located in the city of Edgemead Zen, also referred to as Bagharshafat. Edgemead Zen means the coming of the only begotten. It was the main Christian temple of Bagharshafat and is the most ancient Christian temple of Armenia. It was built in 301 to 303 by Gregor Lysaborich or Saint Gregory. For more than 17 centuries, Holy Edgemid Sin has been and still the center of Armenian religion, culture, sciences, theology, and spirituality. It's a holy place for all Armenians around the world. The cathedral complex has been called Armenian Vatican or Armenian Mecca. The cathedral's external appearance has engraved on the exterior of the edifice are decorative geometric and floral patterns as well as blind arcades and medallion depicting saints. This is the museum of the cathedral that has numerous items on display, including manuscripts and religious objects. Among its notable exhibits are the Holy Lands or Spare, relics belonging to the Apostles of Jesus and John the Baptist, a fragment of Noah's Ark, and the particle of the cross on which Christ was crucified. You can also find all kinds of ritual vessels of silver, gold, ivory, adorned with filigree work and jewels. Most of these articles date back to 17th to 19th centuries. There are older works of arts too. The 10th century crucifix of Abbot Star, one of the oldest wooden bas reliefs in Armenia, to help come down to this day. In 1790, the two-level belfry was attached to the temple. The four semicircular niches form a cross on the rectangular basis of the temple. The decoration of the building is very modest. According to the legend, King Terdat III, being a pagan, desired a wonderful Hirepshime, the lady, is famous for her unusual beauty. She was a Roman nun who had earlier fled here to escape marriage to the Roman Emperor Diocletian. She refused marriage to the ruler. Thus the tyrant in fury gave an order to stone her and her friends to death with rocks. Hirepshime accepted martyrdom. Not long after, the ruler fell ill. Saint Gregory the Illuminator took pity on the king and the king got cured. After this wonder, the king repented, came to believe in Jesus. The king adopted Christianity and ordered to build temples and permitted to christen people. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.